morning guys. Well, I often get the question, what is it like uh, on a day on the Great Loop? So today, I thought we would take you through just what a typical, or non-typical, whatever today is going to be, day uh, out here on the Great Loop. Uh, it's 6 a.m. Uh, the sun has not come up yet, but we're starting to get some uh, first light. We'll probably be able to get underway in about an hour. So about an hour before we get underway, I start doing uh, uh, engine room checks and things like that. So um, let's get to it. But first, coffee. It's been a long, hard season I'm feeling weary to my bones I guess that's my reason I've packed my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere Between the sun and the deep blue sea Well, here we are. Uh, first light on the 10 Tom. Uh, normally we wake up to fog. Uh, there's a little bit this morning, but uh, looks to be pretty clear. And so we're getting an early start. We've got a long day. So this morning we got underway at uh, 7 a.m. Uh, first light was about 6.30. We didn't have any fog this morning, which is nice. So uh, engine checks complete, engines fired up, and uh, pulled anchor, and uh, we are underway. We have already met our first tow of the day, uh, Tara Huckabee here on the Ten Tom. Uh, easy pass in a straightaway. We are in a windy portion of the Ten Tom, and so uh, if you get in one of these tight corners where it's a narrow channel with uh, shallows on either side of you, it can be a little dicey, but um, we're able to pass no problem. Uh, AIS doesn't show anybody showing up uh, in this next little stretch, so now it's just um, getting to our first lock, actually the last lock on the tent top, uh, Coffeeville lock, and so we're excited for that. So um, we're just gonna keep coming on with it, as they say here on the tent top. <laughs> Well, it is eight o'clock and uh, our first teenager has emerged from her stateroom. Uh, we are uh, an hour uh, in, uh, underway today. Uh, and uh, Jennifer is down below making some breakfast. Uh, we've got the generator running so uh, we can uh, fire up the range and cook some eggs. And uh, we'll see what time uh, our second team uh, awakens this morning. So sausage and eggs for breakfast this morning. Uh, thanks to my lovely wife. We're approaching our second tow uh, of the morning here, and uh, we've got three loop boats that are kind of bunched up. One that was in the anchorage with us uh, last night, one that was in an anchorage uh, very nearby. So we got uh, all got to start at the same time and we're bunching up we're kind of slow movers uh, we cruise at seven knots around eight miles an hour and so uh, we tend to hang out in the back of the pack here with uh, trawler speed folks uh, rather than motor yacht speed that are going uh, you know maybe 10 mile uh, 10 knots or 11 and a half miles an hour that kind of thing so we um, we get better fuel economy by doing this and uh, we're not really in a hurry and so um, we save money by going slow. Anyway, uh, these three boats, we're going to pass this uh, tow next and... Um, it's going the same direction. Going the same direction as us and uh, we're going faster than it so he's a slow moving tow, he's got a, a lot of barges and so uh, one of the goals is for us to kind of stay together as a pack so that when we get to this lock uh, in a couple of hours 
that um, all the pleasure boats get locked through together so we don't show up piecemeal. And so we've been coordinating on the radio, hailing each other on 16 and talking on a different channel to uh, coordinate uh, our cruise speed so that uh, we get around this guy, get ahead of him far enough um, that... Uh, hopefully lock us through before him. Yeah, so if they can cycle the lock through um, before he gets there. So he's calling the tow right now. And Mark Howard, we have seen... This is our third, fourth, yeah, 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 fifth time. Multiple times. Yeah, you guys all uh, run it slow to save fuel. I, I don't remember ever uh, uh, seeing so many tows running so slow. Uh, it's just a small boat, big tow, windy river. Small boat, big tow, windy river. Thank you for time, too. <laughs> so... Roger. All right, thanks for the info. Have a good day. So they run 24 hours, so we'll pass them and then we'll sleep for the night and then the next day we pass them and we sleep for the night and on and on and on. And so if we're lucky, we get ahead of them for the luck, but several times we've been stuck. Yeah. But it's not his fault. Our, our, our longest day on yeah. the rivers was uh, we were behind him and uh, he would have to lock through and then we would catch up or go around him. And then uh, commercial tows, they get priority, so pleasure boats don't. And so we would get to the next lock, and the lock master would say, "Yeah, you guys, uh, you know, go anchor over there and, and wait." And the, you know, we waited three and a half hours once for him to get ahead of us, and then get up into the lock and get logged through. Then another tow was coming upbound, and so we had to wait for that guy uh, to get out of the lock, and then we could go. And so. Um, if we can get around this guy and far enough ahead of him that the lockmaster can uh, lock these three pleasure boats together cycle uh, it and cycle it back for him, then uh, we're in good shape. Now, uh, we heard on the radio there could be other tows already there. And if that's the case, then um, we might just be sitting there for a long time, regardless of what we do. But today um, is planned for not as many miles as we have been going. And so we have the convenience or um, to wait, to be able to wait a couple of hours where, and we won't be stuck by nightfall again. And so we'll just anchor out and wait because it's only 8.30 in the morning right now. Right. So. And, and with only one lock, it doesn't compound throughout your whole day to, right. until you're showing up uh, after dark. So um, pretty mild in terms of what we faced on the river. So um, we're not too worried about it today, even if we get stuck behind this guy walking through. The reason that we planned not long days is that we're trying to hurry down to the Gulf, but not too fast before our insurance will allow us to be down there um, because of hurricane season. And so now we're in those hurry up and wait kind of a days. And so we'll be in the Gulf in a couple of days, but we have to be very careful about um, those regulations. All right, well, we're coming up on this tow, so uh, uh, need to be not distracted by filming a video, um, but uh, we'll check in a little bit later. to be Halloween uh, and our second teenager has emerged from his stateroom and uh, this is a kind of a recreation but this is how the dude comes out. Happy Halloween buddy. So sometimes that leads a break and I will drive in between my homeschool duties and uh, it's actually right for me too for being down below and teaching the kids. while we're underway. Alright, so from the radio just now, we heard that uh, he's got a southbound and a northbound tow to get through the lock. And so we have cut it back to idle speed. 
Uh, there is no reason to speed up there just to uh, either idle or drop anchor right next to the lock. So we're just going to be taking our time. It's probably going to be a couple of hours. Uh, and a lot, lot, lot of talk about it. Um, but really, we're just going to be waiting for a while. Okay, so it's 10.45 in the morning, and uh, we have arrived at the lock, and they are locking uh, a couple of toes through. And so we are here with a bunch of looper boats uh, that have arrived earlier than us. Uh, uh, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, and us five uh, pleasure craft waiting to lock down. And so uh, we dropped the anchor, uh, which is nice that they have a little anchorage that you can do that. Otherwise, you're forced to just idle and hold position, and uh, that's no fun for hours. So uh, not sure how long we're going to be here, but uh, at least we're safely anchored and uh, maybe an early lunch. Taking a break from homeschool, get some fishing in. Waiting on the lock. Okay, so Toe has come out of the lock, and uh, the lock master has told us to get ready that uh, we are heading in after this guy clears. So uh, we are ready to go uh, as soon as he gives us the uh, green light. So here we go, heading into our uh, last lock of the river system, uh, Coffeeville Lock. Uh, here we go. We've got an anchorage picked out, but it is uh, four hours away, uh, 35 miles, and uh, we travel slow. So um, we would pull in there around 5 p.m. And so we'll see how uh, the day goes. We may finally find an anchorage closer uh, if we spot something, or we may make it that far. So uh, uh, one of us is done with homeschool already. Uh, the other just has one subject, math left and uh, probably wrap that up and start screwing around. Yeah. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, homeschool is done, so we're just screwing around here. Uh, Jennifer has the helm. I'm gonna go take a nap. the Instapot going today. Uh, just a uh, beef roast and some rice. So something to warm our tummies. Uh, it's only 3.30, 4 o'clock, but uh, feels like dinner to us. Well, it's about 4.30 and uh, we just had a tow operator uh, point out to us that uh, our intended anchorage for the night uh, has a dredge operating just outside of it. And uh, there's a few That's loopers sitting there. So we may just uh, anchor right here, so we're going to give that a try. Well, we made it. Uh, we are anchored here at uh, Salt Creek Anchorage. Uh, we are just off the channel. Um, there is a green can right out here. And uh, so that will provide protection. We won't have any toes coming over this far. And uh, we are in about uh, six feet of water and uh, holding incredibly well. Uh, we got one other boat that has joined us. Uh, Otter, which is back there dropping uh, anchor right now. So uh, not completely secluded, but uh, a friend tonight. And they have offered to trick or treat because it is Halloween. And so Stitch will be uh, taking a high field ride over there uh, to trick or treat. So uh, safe for the night. Um, 
we're gonna uh, eat second dinner and uh, do some trick-or-treating uh, watch the sunset behind us over here uh, thank you for joining us for uh, a typical ish day on the Great Loop uh, every single day is different and so um, this one was a bit longer than most but uh, it's been fun cheers, cheers. cheers.